ankles, his knees receive strength. Please look at me. There are some of you who came tonight and your prayer request is money. But what will come from heaven to you is wisdom. Please look at me. There are some of you who came tonight and your prayer request is money. But what will come from heaven to you is wisdom. Because if God gives you money, that money can finish. Some of you have received favor. But the reason why favor is not speaking is because favor needs wisdom to last. If favor comes alone, it will keep bringing and it will keep being destroyed because of lack of wisdom. For some of you, you came to find wisdom. For some of you, you came to find direction. For some of you, the truth is that before wisdom comes, you need bread to land on your table first. Because the hunger, hunger can be anything. The hunger that is on your table right now, you, you are not looking for a farm yet. You may not even live to watch the crops grow. You need bread to satisfy you first. And my Bible says he's able to satisfy us with good things. For some of you, you came here and your cries for increase in membership and what God wants to give you is a renewed heart because the real secret is your heart condition, not your publicity. Heart condition, not publicity. Posters don't bring men. I assure you on that. Social media advertisement only informs men. It does not bring men. What brings men is the business that you and God does in the secret. And he honors you by causing spirits to noise abroad his hand upon your life. That is a business of the secret place. Please listen and learn. The secret to publicity is not to make noise physically. It's to have a track record and a covenant with God in the secret. And he who becomes the chief witness of your diligence and your love and passion for him, he knows what to do with men, even as the father of spirits. Hmm. Hallelujah. Some of you, you are here. The real issue in your life is not stagnation. The real issue is lack of direction. Speed is useless when there is no direction. Where are you running to? Hallelujah. Imagine that you are running into a sea. You have speed, but your speed is only going to cause you trouble. The first thing God gives you is direction before he gives you speed. Where do I need to go to? The Bible says, and your ear shall hear a voice saying, this is the way walk ye in it. Hallelujah. And like our precious people sang, for some of you, what you came to receive is restoration. Do you know what it means to restore? I have taught you and I will keep teaching you. To restore is beyond making progress. Progress simply talks about incremental steps towards the direction of your goals and your destiny. Restoration is God picking your yesterday and still putting time to your yesterday again so that the possibilities that would have happened to you yesterday reappears into your today again. It's called restoration. And for some of you, what you came for is power, period. You just came for an encounter with genuine power. No amount of sermons will really do the job. With all humility, you have heard the teaching. You are like the disciples of Jesus. You've spent your three and a half years receiving good spiritual lectures. But a lecture alone will not take over Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and the uttermost part of the earth. Some of you have come for an encounter power from on high to land upon your head like I taught you last week to land upon your hand and to land upon your feet remember what I taught you last week that grace that comes upon your head is for illumination and direction grace that comes upon your hand is for productivity and grace that comes upon your feet is for direction and for speed you don't use your head to walk you use your head to think but if you are mad your leg cannot walk because your head will keep misleading your leg it will not even move am I right on that there are people who cannot walk because they have brain damage they have all kinds of things their feet is still well but that central system of coordination has gone wrong so for some of you when we say power most people just think anointing for miracles there are three aspects of your life or three areas in your body that need this impartation your head illumination light Father, what is beclouding my understanding and my thinking? Confusing me so that I'm not able to have vision. The Bible says without vision, the people cast off restraint. They perish. And then for another person, your prayer is for God. To, your head is thinking. 
but your hand cannot move because like Samson it has been bound with chains you need that 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 chain to be broken so that your hands can move productivity hallelujah as powerful as your head is you do not carry a bucket of water with your head you do not carry the keys to your house with your head you don't drive with your head your head does the thinking but the actual driving is done by your hands and then for many your feet as powerful as your hands are you can do exercises and bend with your hand but your hand is not responsible for walking your head can think as well as it wants to your hand can be as agile and productive as it is but if your leg have you seen people respectfully speaking who were amputated you see how incapacitated they are or perhaps people who are intelligent they think well and are without limbs or those who are confined in wheelchairs their hands are working well, their head is working well, but their speed is limited. God wants to bring grace for someone. And there are some of you who will get all three because this is what you need, all three. That it's coming on your head afresh again, coming on your hand again. Listen to me, you cannot prosper if grace does not, the power to prosper does not come on your head alone. These three areas, you want to really prosper it must come upon your head in your light we see light it must come upon your hands so that the works of your hands are blessed and then it must come upon your feet so you walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise hallelujah I'm taking our time to teach so that when we start praying and when I start ministering to you it's going to be a quick walk this is what we came to do tonight I always pray and prepare that the miracle services are most productive in the life of the people. And it's not just by shouting amen and fire, it's by understanding. This that you are receiving is what makes your receiving the miracle potent and lasting. So that you don't just fall down and stand up for nothing. You know what came upon you. If an impartation comes upon you now, you have enough intelligence to know what to do with it. Oh, so this grace apostle spoke about, it just came upon me. Lord, thank you for the one that has come upon my head. Thank you for the one that has come upon my hand. You go back home and lay those hands and say, in the name of Jesus, my hands are blessed. May they begin to work. My mind is blessed. I have the mind of Christ. Did Elihu not say there is a spirit in man he says the inspiration this is where it is inspiration is not in the hand inspiration is not in the feet it happens right here the breath of the almighty can make men of understanding hallelujah praise the name of the lord these are my contemplations for this miracle service but tonight god has anointed me to come here because all of these storms that are raging around our lives, some of you, you have cried and said, God, where are you? Now you will understand that he's always been with you, but perhaps you have not called on him. You've been lamenting. Lamentation is not calling on God. Discussing the situation is not calling on God. Please listen to me. You call on God by being vocal, unashamed. You see, if blind Batim, you called God with some kind of dignified, you know, pedigree conscious call, thou son of David, is this how you're going to pass me? Or will you turn around and all that English, you would have passed him, you would have remained there. He shouted. Someone needs to be angry when it's time to pray. Keep a bit of your, respectfully speaking, all of those, those Polish dignity. Thank God for it. But you are the one who knows where the shoe is hurting. You will cry with all your heart and say, thou son of David, this reproach that has come upon my family, that my family has been called Ichabod, that every time people want to consider pain and losses, it looks like they make reference to my family. You can stand in faith and agree with God tonight. My assignment is to midwife your miracle and it's going to be a very quick one. You have written your requests already. Make sure, listen, the part of the spirits, leave that one to me and God. We know what to do about it. Are we together? But having done that, the spirits part, you must be willing. You will use your own mouth and speak. 
to the waters, the problems, and say in Jesus' name, you have come thus far, no further. I have cried. My crying stops here. I'm not leaving this place crying again. It has to be over in the name of Jesus. Did my Bible not say even weeping has a time period that it endures but for a night? Is that in your Bible? So why have you been crying for one year? Has night and morning and night and morning and night and morning not come again? You are breaking the law. You are giving your weeping strength beyond its jurisdiction. The moment the sun begins to arise, you wipe your tears. Yes, you wipe your tears. The sun will no more give you sunlight by day. The moon will no more give you moonlight by night. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world He heals all the bruises inflicted by this world For someone God is speaking to you, stop crying Put on your armory of a warrior You have cried too long, your grandfather cried Get back to children who joined him crying. Your parents have cried. Will you continue crying and transfer tears to your children? Tonight is the night that you will get up and put on that regalia. There has to be someone who comes in the spirit of Gideon, in the spirit of Deborah. Someone who will get up and say, no, storms, you must come to an end. Is someone ready to pray for one minute before I begin to speak over your life? All over this auditorium scattered outside and the thousands following online. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Every storm around my life, every storm around my finances, hear ye the word of the Lord. You come to an end tonight. Are there people of prayer in this place? Go ahead and pray. Storms are made up of winds and water. Winds and water. There is a spirit component. There is a physical expression. When the spirit component is dealt with, every other thing will fall into place. Jesus did not have to drive the sea away. He did not have to drive the water away. He rebuked the wind and spoke to the sea. Shalom, be still. Shalom, be still. Take a minute to pray. Be angry in your spirit as you pray. Lenta prakata kata prakata pakatos Santa praskosa de gata belekos in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus you are in my boat but arise thou shall arise you are seated but thou shall arise someone is praying thou shall arise thou shall arise he said let God arise 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 over your family let God arise over your finances let God arise over your health Let God arise. Hallelujah. 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 Please bring out every point of contact that you have. If you don't have anything, no problem. You just lift your hand. Whatever, not your prayer request, any point of contact, whether your documents, whatever it is, just lift it up. I want, we're going to pray. And I want you to watch the wonder working power of the God of heaven. 
I'm serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. I am serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. One more time. I am serving the God of miracles. The Bible says in Acts chapter 19 that handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the bodies of Paul. That it was taken to people who were diseased and they were spirits. The handkerchiefs and the, the points of contact could not speak but something was placed upon them. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. What you are doing is not just some, some this is a proper biblically supported prophetic act. And I want you to believe in what you are doing because you will return with testimonies that will marvel you. And for those who are watching from across the globe, following from your home, any and every viewing center across the globe, I want you to connect. You don't have a point of contact, that's all right. You can lift your hands. Your hand represents your productivity. I want to pray for you. I just felt stirred in my spirit to deal with this because there are many people here. Some of you are lifting photos of people. Some of you are lifting, I see people lift all kinds of things, your profession, your, your, your lawyer, and all kinds of things, medical people, certificates, and all of those things. Let me pray to the God who answers. Mm. He says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the same way you are lifting this that is the same way i lift you to a higher level the same way you are lifting this point of contact i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i shift you to a higher level a higher level in your career a higher level in business a higher level in your social experience in the name of jesus christ hear me the wind is blowing in this room, yet it did not blow what you are lifting to calm down. Therefore, I declare, nothing brings you down from today. Nothing brings you down from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Upon all your points of contact, right from this altar, let an unction from heaven, let an anointing, the grace for favor, the grace for speed, the grace for visibility, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Hallelujah. For someone, as you lifted this, you lifted it for your helper to see you in the spirit. You I say it again. You only lifted it for your helper to see you in the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, I clear away every storm that is stopping your helpers from seeing you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, when there is a very clear sky in the night, you stand and you can see the stars unhindered. But when the cloud midwives your vision, you only look up and you can see a dark, hazy night. And yet beyond that dark, hazy night, there are beautiful stars that are shining. But you are not able to see them because the clouds have come to cover your visibility. Are we together? I want to pray for you. I don't know what cloud has come in between you and all those who must see you. If you don't believe it, you can put down your hand. But I'm praying for someone who believes in the power of prophetic repositioning. That you can be repositioned by prophecy so that those who need you can see you. I compel them again to see you. I compel them again to see you. I compel them again to see you. When you turn to the north, they will see you. 
when you turn to the south they will see you when you turn to the east they will see you when you turn to the west they will see you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me a padlock I'm seeing a padlock and a padlock seals it can be good if it is preserving but it can be dangerous if it is stopping I don't know seeing this God is showing me that means that there might be someone your destiny you might be lifting this but in the realm of the spirit either by some demonic manipulation there are things that have been locked I in the name of Jesus I call upon he that has the key of David Shakas everything locked be open now be open now be open now Please be sensitive, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, I pray it again. As you are standing here, for some of you, what God is opening is not your own. It's for your loved ones. They are, they are far somewhere, but you know their life has been locked by the mercy of God, right from this place, may their destinies open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them. You will be amazed at the things that will happen from tonight's miracle service. In the name of Jesus. Please drop, if you can, just drop your points of contact. Drop it on the floor and then you'll pray in one minute. Not on your seat, just obey instructions. Just drop it on the ground there. It's nothing, just drop it on the ground. And I want you to lift your voice and begin to pray in one minute. That in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Listen, listen. Let me explain to you what you are doing so you don't just think you are acting foolishly. The earth I have taught you is one of the five elements of the supernatural. The earth is a universal point of contact. The same way you are matching the ground, your helper is also matching the ground somewhere. And you are not placing it on the ground just as some kind of dull ritual. You are doing this with understanding that in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, as you have placed it on this ground, in the name of Jesus as a point of contact, let it start calling all those who need to show up in your life. Let it start calling all those who need to show up in your life. Listen, I stand by God to tell you, you will be afraid of the kinds of testimonies that will be shared here by reason of this. Listen, for some of you, as you have placed this on the ground, there is somebody who is waking up for your sake and they don't even know what is waking them up for someone issues are being revisited in the spirit issues are being revisited in the spirit issues are being revisited in the spirit hear me for some of you what you dropped on the ground is paper but you are picking your land what you dropped on the ground is paper but you are picking your house I'm not motivating you what you dropped on the land is paper but you are picking your children you are picking your job you are picking your increase in the name of Jesus now watch this the last explanation as to what you are doing when Moses brought his rod watch this the Lord did not tell him lift it up he said cast it on the ground that holy ground when Moses placed it on the ground, a number of spiritual activities happened. He said, pick it back up. When he picked it, it no longer was called the rod of Moses. It became the rod of God. That which you have dropped on the ground. In the name of Jesus. By dropping it on the ground, you have handed over the case to this warrior called El Shaddai. 
Oh, it is no longer your battle. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the multi-breasted one arise for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick up what you have dropped now and begin to give thanks by faith. Lord, I receive by faith. Lord, I receive by faith. I receive by faith. I receive by faith. I receive by faith. Strange testimonies by faith. Mighty manifestations by faith. Higher levels in the spirit by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please drop it down. I'm going to collect your prayer request. But the Lord is leading me. Carry your prayer request the same way you took this. You can drop this. Pick up your prayer request. Except if it's the same thing you dropped, still pick it up. I want you, you are going to hold it. I will pray on it before you hand it over to the ushers. We're organized people, but we're people of the Spirit. When the Holy Spirit decides to move, bring two people for me who will run now. There is a reason why I always ask that that happens. And some of you, I'm sure you're amazed. Why do people just start running up and down? Um, it doesn't have to happen. These things are signs and wonders. They carry deep spiritual connotations. Two people, the hand of God in, in this auditorium now. And they will just start running. Please help them whether you're an usher or not. And I want you to bring them out. This is a spirit. This is, this is a ministry by the spirit. Hallelujah. Bring them out for me. I'm about to pray over your request. Hear what I'm hearing in my spirit. Before August 25th. Before August 25th. I don't know what this means. Listen. This is what I just had before August 25th. Can I speak it over your life? I don't know what it is you are trusting God for. For some of you, you have prayed, you have even sown seeds. But I'm saying it as one sent by God. As I have heard from God before August 25th, let there be a strange manifestation. Before August 25th, let there be a strange manifestation of the hand of God, the favor of God, the grace of God, extraordinary increase, strange doors open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, they come out like this sometimes as a prophetic message that God is speaking to someone. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what has kept you behind but in the name that is above all names the same kind of grace that came on these people to bring them forward I push you forward now I push you forward now go forward in Jesus name go forward in Jesus name go forward in Jesus name some of you listen going forward will mean jumping over mountains going forward will mean crossing seas by all godly means go forward go forward go forward the Lord is asking me to declare mercy upon people who are owing financially. This is what I'm hearing. Please, I want you to believe this. The prophetic has always been the scriptural solution to any kind of financial predicament. There is a place of value, productivity, intelligence, relationships, but not without the prophetic. I decree and declare. I don't know what financial situation you might be in right now. Maybe carelessness, maybe mistakes. It does not matter in whatever form it came. This is the house of God. I decree and declare. 
perhaps that was why God said before August 25th for someone, I decree and declare, I tie that prophetic word to this speaking. Before August 25th, come out of that situation. Please don't be tired. Give me a chance to speak into your life. Can I still speak over your finances? Don't reject financial blessings. Don't allow ignorance make you reject it. You will suffer. It will cause you problems you cannot imagine. We are not marketing carnality and lust and flesh. If you are incapacitated financially, it is one of the worst attacks that can happen to a man in his life. I pray for you. The Bible says, I'm by a prophet. The Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. You heard the testimonies of the people here. And by a prophet, I will teach you principles that grant you wisdom and help you maximize that which the prophetic brings. But as for this night, my own is to release by the prophetic that grace, programming a climate of favor, compelling men to come speedily, to come with gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. In the name of Jesus, I call helpers to your life, strategic financial relationships. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whilst you are standing, please ushers quickly collect. Just you can pass the prayer request to the last person at the aisle. I'm going to be laying hands on it and then ushers will pick it. Um, maybe some persons help the ushers for those outside. Let's do it fast. God is granting us grace. Hallelujah. Now, everybody please pay attention. I want to rebuke a few spirits before I pray over this. I told you that every storm is made up of winds. You have been shouting amen, but now let me do the praying for you. I don't tolerate evil spirits. I don't tolerate unclean spirits. We are mandated to cast them anywhere we see them. And for as long as I am alive, let me tell you the truth. Everything that plagues God in your life, he must let you go this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to pray for you now. And ushers, thank you so much for all that you do. There is a reason why I ask people to come. We want to rebuke devils. And they shall cast out devils. Upon Mount Zion, the Bible declares that there shall be holiness. And the Bible says that um, the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Deliverance and holiness. L ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. For some of you, you may not know the kinds of spirits that stand as resistance stopping you stopping things from coming to you the spirits that are raging they are bringing all kinds of storms that nothing good seems to come to your life hallelujah have you ever seen uh, some kind of tornado or wind and water disaster it can wipe away farms in a moment wipe away houses in a moment in a matter of minutes people will lose billions of dollars worth of lives and property that's what storms can do the bible says in isaiah 32 and verse 15 that until the spirit be poured upon us from on high it says that the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful field be counted for a forest hallelujah so i'm going to speak over your life and for many of you, you will be surprised that these strange, demonic, devilish spirits begin to manifest because they have been masquerading around your finances, around your health. Hallelujah. I may not even need to pray healing for some of you because by this prayer, you'll find out that a miracle happens. Now, all I want you to do, please just follow instructions and follow me. My job is to help you receive. You are going to shout at the count of three. You're going to shout that name, Jesus. Why do we shout that name? It's a prophetic act. But number two, it is also to stir up your faith, a way of connecting your faith to what God is doing. And the power of God will rest upon people. Every spirit that is not of God, hiding behind your life, your family, this is the time it must let you go. The spirit that makes as good as you are, all that people see in your life is evil. They run away from you. You don't know why good people are leaving you. Are we together? That beauty and glory must be restored this night. Are you ready now? At the count of three, 
Once I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. And then for the ushers or all who can help them, just bring those under the anointing here as I begin to rebuke them. Father, you gave us authority over spirits. And you said to cast away unclean spirits that plague men, that plague destinies, the spirits that continue to raise storms in the lives of people. And tonight, oh God, I decree and declare, standing by your grace, even the apostolic and the prophetic, that as I speak over your people and as they shout, everything that has not been planted by my Father, that in the name of Jesus it must give way. I announce to every spirit that in the name of Jesus your time is up. You must let families go. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I command that devil leave God's people now leave God's people now please bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus out of their destinies now release their destinies let them go please whether you're an usher or not help them come to the front let's do that very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ be released now activities of witchcraft wizardry ancestry in the mighty name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now please if there's anyone under the anointing close to you you don't have to wait for the ushers bring them out let's hurry up and save time once someone is under the anointing close to you just pick them out gently and bring them in front here. There's a reason why we ask them to come. As many as the ushers are, they are very limited because they are doing so many things now. I'm still praying, bring them out. Every family here that has been tied by the covenant of ancestry, that men do not rise. Whether you come from any of the six geopolitical regions in Nigeria or any place in Africa, right now, let the fire of the Holy Ghost visit the foundation of every family. Let the fire of visit the foundations of every family and bring liberty in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hear me I have taught you here on the mystery of altars that an altar is a system of authorization that gives permission to spirits Yokes that do not allow men rise in various families, educated but not productive. I decree and declare those altars are destroyed now. Destroyed now. Hear me? There are altars that must make women in many families cry. If they don't cry in marriage, they will cry either as mothers if they are parakatos kiata. As I'm saying this, I just saw fire. I don't know which daughter of Abraham, help them now, which daughter of Abraham has been under this siege that the women in every family do not have the cause to rejoice. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now! Kalasadeke verekatoska pragada belekatos. Shabrandeke vreskate verekoska. Egrekate verekate kasya. Generational patterns of sickness. I want to destroy it now. Generational patterns of sickness. Grandfather died of cancer. Mother died of cancer. Now the children are having it. Or diabetes. Every generational pattern. I stand by the God who called me. In the name of Jesus. And by the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant. Help them please. I break those patterns now. Patterns of sickness. Be broken now. Patterns of sickness. Be broken now. Untimely death. Be 
people never leave the fullness of their days something must destroy them anyone here marked for death that there is a sign of death upon your life I take it away from you now I take it away from you now and I speak to you the fullness of your days you will fulfill hallelujah that you hear that someone just left his house in peace and then a bike bike motorbike just comes to destroy a great destiny and waste the destiny don't tell me it just happened can I pray two more prayers for you please look at me we call it many names in the body of Christ others call it rise and fall others call it the absence of longevity of impact I don't care what you call it the spirit knows who I'm thinking about anything that makes lifting rising prosperity growth to be short-lived in your life that every time you see things they don't last that good things never stay in your hand in the name of Jesus I cry unto the God of my covenant this night that yoke is broken 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 Do you believe what you are receiving? Yes. Let me pray for you now. Please listen to this final prayer. Every time the devil cannot get you, he will find someone who means a lot to you and attack them because attacking those close to you, listen to what I'm saying, attacking those close to you will eventually affect you in every way as though it was your own personal attack. Hallelujah. So if the devil tries to throw the dart of sickness and because of your spiritual understanding, prophetic covering and all these systems of advantage, you escape from it. By the time it hits, respectfully speaking, your mother or father or husband or wife or children or those who mean close to you, there is a way that Satan promotes generational poverty by handpicking all the destiny helpers and killing them. Is it not in your Bible that when a deliverer was born, Every other child died like that. Even Jesus. Mass destruction is Satan's activity. The Bible calls him a murderer right from beginning. Killing does not mean anything to the devil. He can use men, structures, situations to kill good things. John 10.10 10, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. He says, but I am come that ye may have life and have it more abundantly. I want to cover all those connected to you. And if you love them, please open up your heart to receive this. Because the error of hearing bad news from people around you that troubles your faith and troubles your confidence, we must stand in prayer believing that there is a God. He said, as for me and my house, not me alone, me and my house, I decree and declare over your life in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. As God has shielded and protected you, I extend the same covering to your loved ones. I extend the same covering to your loved ones. I extend the same covering to your loved ones. There shall be no loss. There shall be no death. The waste will not come near your habitation. In the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone here who came here believing God for a healing miracle. Please listen. I want to give one command. You can always have the time to testify. But I want to pray. I don't know where you are, but in one minute, just place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. You had the testimony of the gentleman. Don't go back and allow what you tolerate will grow. What you tolerate and give excuses for will continually multiply. Are we together now? When Satan came and arranged for the killing of James, the church kept quiet and the Bible says they went further. They proceeded further to apprehend Peter. But the church became angry. In Acts chapter 12 and verse 5, 
the Bible says, but prayer was made unto God of the church, unto God for him. The church said, no, we'll not allow this happen again. And there was an intervention. Ah, no. Every spirit that is not of God must live this night. Yeah. Apostle, how will I know the spirit has left? Because the storm will no longer be there. Yeah. When Jesus rebuked the wind, then he spoke to the office situation. Then he spoke to the marriage situation. Then he spoke to the health situation and said, Shalom, be still. But not without rebuking the wind. Now let me pray over your body in the name of Jesus. Every infirmity roaming around any part of your body, failed or failing organs, malfunctioning organs, organs that have been cut out maybe by surgical procedures, deformed organs, blood conditions, hearing, seeing problems, mobility problems, growth problems, reproductory problems. It doesn't matter in what form and fashion it has come. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I bring the ministry of life now. I bring the ministry of life now. By the Spirit of the living God, life into your body. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Let your blood be cleansed now in Jesus' name. Genotypes change for good now. Every communicable disease in your body, every disease that has come through the blood, HIV and any hepatitis, it doesn't matter what name and what form, I declare it leaves your body now in Jesus' name. Failing kidneys, failing heart, failing liver, failing organs, all kinds of problems. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the life and the power of Jesus. Be healed right now. To the tiniest and even the silliest of all conditions. If it was not so in the beginning, let it be restored. Let it be restored. There is a gentleman when you go to ease yourself you are easing out blood easing out blood in the name of jesus i'm praying for you that satanic thing that gentleman is in this place the lord just showed me that person in the name of jesus you are healed now help him in the name of jesus christ there is someone your your, your lady, your right breast, you know, is beginning to grow unusually. That is a demonic case. I don't want to mention anything that disturbs you, but this is some kind of growth that we need to rebuke because with what I'm seeing, it is, it is cancer just looking for your body. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. The same way it entered your body, let it live now. The same way it came into your body, let it live now. There is a gentleman, you are, you are walking, you walk well, but you, are, you feel a lot of pains around your knee. Very severe pains around your knee. That person, the Lord is healing you right now. Because I'm seeing that this thing is, is, is like a symptom of arthritis. The hand of the Lord is upon you right now. For sake of time, those who are in front here, every evil spirit, foul devil that has followed them here by the blood of the eternal covenant, I command these spirits, out you go, off you go, never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything you have taken from them, their families, their loved ones, let there be a restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just heard in my spirit good news I had in my spirit good news let me prophesy good news good news in the morning good news in the afternoon good news 
in the night good news one more time in the morning good news in the afternoon good news in the night good news good news means no more tears good news means no more sorrow good news means the pain of yesterday has gone with yesterday in the name of Jesus now wherever you are stretch your hands and begin to make faith declarations over this request stretch your hands in one minute will you sing for me that song restore in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands everybody those following online you can stretch your hands by faith go ahead go ahead we have just one minute for this Jesus Christ as you have believed in the name that is above all names I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that by the power that raised Christ from the dead the answers to this miracle they will follow you wherever you go the answers to this request I command them to look for you and follow you they will look for you and follow you they will look for you and follow you in the mighty name of Jesus all the human vessels that must be in partnership with the Holy Ghost to make for answers to this request in the name of Jesus Christ we compel them by the power of the Holy Spirit they partner with the Holy Ghost to make for your answers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I wrote three scriptures here in the place of prayer that the Lord gave me let me speak over your life number one Job chapter 5 and verse 12 let me just speak it over your life very quickly media help us Job 5 he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise hear me anybody who does not mean well for you may their hands never come close to your destiny psalm 7 15 and 16. these three scriptures came to me in the place of prayer i was not even praying about them they just came to my spirit he made a pit and digged it and is falling into the ditch which he made verse 16 his mischief shall return upon his head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own page please hear me in this season may the god of vengeance may the god who is able to judge may he bring judgment to the works of the wicked over your life in the name of jesus christ last scripture isaiah 54 17. popular scripture but it came to my spirit in the place of prayer isaiah 54 17. it says no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper so everything is looking for prosperity including the devil 
including weapons they want to prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn the Bible says this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me I want to pray for you if any mouth must speak about you let it be for good one more time if any tongue must speak about you let it be for good every counsel of Ahitophel towards your helpers to manipulate them so that they do not treat you with favor in the name of Jesus we overturn this night by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ July is about to end the seventh month August begins as the eighth month eighth is the number of new beginning and the Bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old he said for behold I do a new thing may that new thing anointing rest upon you new things in your spiritual life new things financially new things in your career new things in life and destiny hear me the spirit of the old all things I drive it far from your life in the name of Jesus Christ if I speak favor over you are you still willing to receive until I see every one of us become a living epistle of the favor of God I will not stop speaking it over your life for some of you it will take a while speaking it for you to come to the consciousness of the all surpassing value of the favor of God in the life of a man but for as many whose hearts are open and truly ready to receive in Jesus name one more time even this night receive favor favor with men favor with systems favor with structures be at peace with money in the name of Jesus Christ your daily bread needed for your efficiency per day per week per month let God bring it to your hands koinonia hear me by favor even in famine you shall laugh your children will laugh in the name of Jesus Christ I hope you know that favor is not just limited to things it takes favor to receive encounters with God when Gabriel came to Mary he said I am here because you are highly favored in other words it's not because your eyes were opened through prayer and fasting alone it takes favor when God the Bible says blessed is the man who God causes to appear to approach him the vistas of the spirit are not just open because you pursue in terms of prayer and fasting as important as that is there are men who can find favor with God and God can come to you open to you the vistas of your destiny let me pray for your spiritual life you have received things enough let's pray for nobler things in your life in the name that is above all names your prayer life every attack over your prayer life the diligence the discipline to travel until you evolve to become that superior believer receive that grace now receive that mantle now receive that anointing now receive that grace now the grace to wake up and pray and to pray till you establish things in your life number two receive the grace to have dominion over food some of you the unbecoming in your life is gluttony you can resist every other temptation but food everything God gave man he gave man control over the moment things dominate you you are oppressed in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the grace to discipline yourself in prayer in fastings for the purpose of your spiritual growth receive it now let me pray for your word study life you know by now 
that the anchor to your stability and growth is a thorough methodical understanding of doctrine even the ways of God that in all your knowledge if there are gaps in your spiritual understanding you cannot become a person of stature so week in week out you are mentored shown the various facets of the Christian life to the end that you become robust built as Ephesians says should be I decree and declare the appetite for the word, the appetite for study, not just study to preach, not just study to go on social media, but study for your knowledge, for your stability and for your understanding. Receive that grace now. For many of you who have underutilized the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the only circumference of our knowing him is just praying in tongues and then we stop there. I pray for you that the deeper dimensions of intimacy that can drive men into that river with the Holy Spirit wherewith champions are made out of weakness wherewith strength is made wherewith destinies are birthed that men are molded and fashioned to become men of power and grace in the name of Jesus Christ I, I push you deeper into that relationship For someone here, your only prayer when you came is apostle, please pray that God will give me at least one good friend. I'm tired of liars in my life, tired of psychophants, tired of hypocrites. I don't know who that person is. May my God, the one who connects men, who takes men in solitary places and connects them to families, may he bring strategic people and connect you in the order of David and Jonathan. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is any wrong person, wrong company, wrong group of people misleading you, number one, from your walk with God, from your passion for the house of God, misleading you into perdition, I pray for you from this service, obtain grace to run as far as the east is from the west. In the name of Jesus. The level of spiritual power needed in your life for this season, power to overcome evil, power to ward off the arsenals of darkness, power to stand tall and see to it that the purposes of God are birthed in your life, the requisite level of spiritual power, the impartation in the order of Acts chapter 4, let it be rested upon you now. In the name of